create a function. And we're going to load the chat area with a PHP file called display messages.php. And we're going to run this every half a second. And we're going to make the scroll bar go down at the bottom. Chat area. Scroll top. Scroll height of chat box. Which is what we have right here. Now let's create display messages.php. Now if we go back here, if you refresh, nothing appears yet because we haven't created the PHP um, file. So let's create this file right here called display messages.php. So we're going to display messages from uh, 10 minutes ago. I'm going to create a variable called 10 minutes ago. I'm going to be time minus 600 seconds. And then we're going to create a uh, MySQL query that's going to uh, retrieve all of the chat history information. So let's go query. Select. Username, message, and message time column from the table chat history where message time is greater than. 10 minutes ago. And order by message time. Then I want to re uh, run this query. Results is MySQLi query. die and then we're going to create a while function so that it this runs this query for uh, what runs this function for each uh, each of the query that's retrieved from the MySQL database So row is going to be the associative array. And message.
message time is going to be the date that's going to be displayed. This is going to be um, the hours that's going to be displayed actually. It's going to fetch the index from the column message time. So if we go back to our database, this is our message time column and that's what it's retrieving the data from. And echo the message. So I'm going to create a paragraph. And in bold, I'm going to enter the username. Row index of username. And then the time in italics. Message time. And then display the actual message. So if we have all of that, it should work. I'm going to go back to the chat box, type in username, enter chat. And it's not working. Display messages.php. Display messages.php. Okay, we have to load the JavaScript file. JS. Now it should work. Nope, it's not working. It's display chat.js. Display chat.js. Nope, still not working. So if we go back to the table, browse, message is being typed in. It's not being retrieved properly, so if we go back to display chat, display load display messages.php. If I go here, alert, hi. Just to make sure that the code up until there is running. Yep, so the code there is running. Oh, there's a capital N here, it should be lowercase. That should that could be the problem. Yes, so that was the problem. So now there's another problem with the PHP file on line number two. So we go back here. Oh, it's the MySQL I. That's for PHP seven. So if we go back here, sign in chat, send message. Should work. Hi. So that's displaying properly. Let's go to display messages.php. See if we can find what's wrong there. Display messages.php so we have no messages that are being displayed so there's something wrong here I'm going to type in echo high 
that's running correctly. There's something wrong with the while function here, it's not working. Print R result. If I don't have this order, but let's see what happens if I erase all this. Okay, so there we go. So we have a problem here with 10 minutes ago. Something's wrong here. 10 minutes ago is. Should be correct. Minus six hundred. Where message time is greater than Oh, I see. Um, maybe it's because there hasn't been any messages typed in 10 minutes ago. Let's just push this to 600 minutes. There we go, now it's working. So if we push this back to 10 minutes and create Simon, new message has arrived. Should work. Nope, it's not working. Something wrong here. Oh, I see. The database is the wrong database. So this should be number six. That's why it's not working. Because I had another database with um, different with a different name to it. So it was co collecting information from database five. Now it should be collecting information from database six. So that's what happens when you use the wrong database. So chat box six. And if I refresh, there you go. New mess Simon, new message has arrived. So I'm going to create Dave. New message goes here. So new message goes here. And if I create create a new, uh, if I open up a new browser, I'm just going to open up Firefox. And I go to localhost sites chat box six. Enter as Tom and type in correct database has been selected. If I go back, go over here, enter, it updates in both browsers. So there you have it. So that's how you create a chat box um, using PHP, jQuery, Ajax, and HTML5. So I will create a download link where you can download. Um, the files to this uh, to this where you can download the source code to this tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy this um, tutorial give a big thumbs up and uh, see you next time bye